In this video, I'm going to show you how to find profitable niches on Amazon with relatively low competition and high demand. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Caroline and I make videos to help you master your mindset and make money online so that you can build a life you love. If you do enjoy watching videos like this, please take a moment to subscribe. I really appreciate it. It helps a small channel like mine. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so you do get notified every time I upload a new video. One of the biggest mistakes that you can do when choosing a niche is picking one that has absolutely no competition. If no one is uploading books to a particular niche, there's a reason for that. It might seem counterproductive to pick niches that have competition in them, especially a lot of competition, but this is where the demand is, it's where the sales are, and it's where the money's at. If there are lots of products in a particular niche, it's because the market is asking for it. Don't be scared of competition. But we also have to be realistic about being able to compete in these highly competitive niches. We have to look at what are we gonna have to do or how much money are we going to have to spend to get a book with a good bestseller ranking in some of these niches. I'll show you some really competitive niches to show you what I'm talking about. As you can see, we've got over 70,000 results for coloring books. So this is what I mean by a highly competitive niche. You've got a massive amount of books in that niche. And when you look at them, they are uh, well established books. So they've got a lot of reviews, a lot of very good reviews. This one's got nine over 9,000. This one's got over 7,500. So this is what you're competing with you're going to have to get your book to the same level as these to even make it on that first page of Amazon to be able to get your book in front of customers. If you don't have this kind of quality book, these kind of quality reviews, you are going to have a really hard time to get into the same bestseller rankings as some of these books. You would have to throw a lot of money at it in advertising and it would take quite a while. If you don't have money for advertising, you would have to have a really big email list or a really big social media presence established already to try and get your book competing with these ones. So another one we could take a look at is Dog Notebook. So this is showing over 6,000 results, which is quite a lot for a notebook. It's a very generalized type of niche to search for. Um, again, these are books that have got, some of them have quite a lot of reviews, the 800 reviews on that one, even though that's a spiral bound book, a thousand reviews on that hardcover journal. So again, this is too broad of a niche and you need to start looking at some sub niches, perhaps a breed of dog rather than a dog notebook. You could look for a Chihuahua notebook or um, a pug notebook or something like that. That might get you some, some better search results. So in, instead of trying to compete in these super competitive niches, which honestly we are probably never going to rank well for, not anytime soon anyway, let's start to look for some sub niches that have lower competition which will give us a chance to sell some books, but still have decent demand for those niches. So first of all, what should you look for when you are trying to find a niche that you want to try? Well, there aren't really any hard and fast rules, but generally these things I'm about to go over are some of the things that I like to look for. When you start to get more familiar with your niche research, you'll probably come up with your own set of criteria to help you pick the niches that you want to give a go. One thing just to note, if I say you should look for certain things in a niche or if somebody else says that you should look for certain things in a niche, don't let it stop you from trying things out. What works for one person isn't going to work for someone else, not all the time anyway. Business is all about trial and error, so you won't know if you don't try. So try things out, give them a go, see what happens, but just try to keep these things in mind when you are doing your research. Look at the search results. How many are there? If there are too many, you'll find it too hard to get on that first page of Amazon's search results and even harder to get your listing in one of those top spots. How many is too many? Well, obviously, the lower the better. Some people will only sell books in niches that have less than 1,000 results. 
Personally, I'm happy to go for niches that have up to 2000 results. If I feel like it might be a really profitable niche. So next look at the bestseller ranking again, the lower, the better. Try to find at least three to four books on that first page of Amazon's search results that have a BSR of 250, 300,000 or less. In sub niches, you will generally find that those books have a higher BSR, meaning you won't sell as many books throughout the month, but you can still make decent sales if you look for books that have a BSR of around 250,000 to 300,000 or lower. If you have a book that has a BSR of 250,000, you should be selling maybe 20 to 30 copies per month. Now that might not seem a lot, but let's do some calculations. So when you think about it, if you had 100 books with a BSR of 250,000, then you could be selling around 2000 books per month. If your books have a $2 royalty, that's $4,000 per month going into your bank. If you do find three or four books with that 250-ish thousand BSR, take a look at their reviews if they have any. How many do they have? If they have hundreds or thousands of reviews, it might be hard to compete with these books as customers will always go with products that have reviews and good reviews for them. If there's say less than 100 reviews, that's pretty good. Take a look at the covers and the interiors of those books that are currently ranking in your criteria. How professional do they look? Can you do better? Can you add more value to your book? Basically, can you make your book better than the one that's currently selling? If not, you'll have some trouble competing. Make sure that you can make your book at least as good as what is currently on the market. And most, if not all of your niche research should be done on the Amazon website itself because Amazon pretty much tells you what their customers are searching for. Here are some of the ways that I do niche research. Now, where can you get ideas of what terms to search for? Look at the bestseller pages of books. It's a good place to start. It can just give you an idea of what's popular or trending at the moment and to just maybe give you some ideas, things that you might not have thought of otherwise. You can look at the best sellers of each category on Amazon up here. So if we go to books, I don't normally do niche research by going to this books category when I'm do using a search term. I will do that from the homepage of Amazon. And the reason for that is because that's what customers do. You have to think like a customer, not the way that you are going to be running your business. So if you do just want to get an idea of something that you might want to have a look for or do more research into, we can just have a look through here. I mean, obviously it's going to have all different kinds of books. It's got non-fiction, fiction, as well as low content books, but you know, it might, it might trigger something for you to want to look further into. Uh, I do know there is usually some low content books in the top 100, which is pretty crazy. I'd love to have a book in the top 100 across all of Amazon's books. This one here, this is a low content book, learning how to write. It's just a tracing paper type of notebook. This one, look at that, 30,800 reviews and pretty much a five star reviews. That is so crazy. I would love to own that book. But the, this is sort of what you're looking at. That will give you an idea. Okay, maybe I'm gonna go have a look a bit further into tracing books or writing practice workbooks. And there's that coloring book down the bottom. So this is a coloring book for girls, teenage girls, I think, or young girls. Com I'm a confident, brave and beautiful coloring book. Again, these just have an insane amount of reviews. Over 12,000, number 49 across the whole of the Amazon books category. But that could, that could give you an idea of something to look into. So maybe you wanna look at affirmation coloring books or coloring books for creating confident teenagers or something along those lines. So again, you could just pop a note down and then that could go into part of your niche research. Um, one thing I always do find interesting in the top 100 of Amazon's bestsellers, there's just a lot of kids books. And I personally think kids books would be kind of not easy, but you know, way easier than writing a hundred thousand word fiction book. You know, if you're interested in kids books, that's something you could look into as well. And this one here is always popular too in the journal category. Um, that's a real popular journal, but if you're interested in that niche, you could note that down and then go have a look through the journal niche. Also have a look at sellers other books. Sometimes sellers don't always sell the exact same books or the exact same niche. Some sellers do have multiple niches under one pen name. Say you do see a book that you might be interested in that particular niche. You can go over here and have a look at the author, see what other types of books they do. And so as you can see, she has quite a few journals in terms of 
being happy, creating positive mindset and stuff like that. Oh, look, she's also got some kids books in here, more journals. And so sometimes authors do have books in multiple niches. And so it might give you an idea of something else that you want to have a look into and do a bit more research into. Another idea is to take a look on Pinterest and Etsy, in particular Etsy. So Pinterest can help you come up with good ideas too. But I find Etsy is a really good place to do, do some research as well. So if you pop in here, printable planner, for example, this will give you some really good ideas. What people create as printables translate really well into a notebook. So, you know, someone might sell a printable to-do list page and all you would need to do is create your own and then pop it into a notebook. So create a 120 page for example um, book where every page is a to-do list or um, something like a daily planner someone might want to buy a book where they can just use the daily planner page every day so looking for printables on Etsy can give you some really good ideas on things that could be created as a book rather than just a printable page now, seasonal niches are definitely something that you should add to your KDP business, business and it will differ slightly in the sense of the criteria that you'll be looking for. When creating books in seasonal niches, you might not be able to be as strict in terms of the amount of search results that you're going to be looking for because seasonal niches are popular and they are going to have a bit of competition in them perhaps more than you would normally look for when you were doing evergreen niches, but they are still something that can give you a boost of income at several times throughout the year. I have created a seasonal calendar, which has popular seasons, holidays, important dates, etc. throughout the year, which you can download if you want. I will pop a link to that in the description below. There's no sign up. You don't have to give your email. You don't have to sign up for anything. That link in the description will take you direct to the PDF download. So now that you have noted down some general terms that you might want to search for on Amazon. When I'm doing my niche research, I will usually change this shipping address to something in the United States because it will come up with an alert saying that as I'm in Australia, it is only showing results who ship to Australia. So I want to see what the US market is going to be seeing as that's where I upload my books to. Like I say, do the niche research from the homepage because that's generally what customers are going to be doing. They're just going to come straight to amazon.com and pop in a search term. Now this that's popping up here, this is a Chrome plugin called Amazon Suggestion Expander, which I highly suggest you install. It's free and it gives you way more search terms that customers are searching for. Um, than just that drop down menu that sometimes pops up. So when you start typing in a keyword and it brings down that little drop down menu, those are suggestions for what other customers have searched for on Amazon. And this plugin brings up a lot more results. So it'll just give you a chance of finding more niches that you can research. So instead of searching for coloring book, we can have a look here. They've got coloring books for kids aged four to eight. That's way more targeted coloring books for kids aged four to eight girls a very shitty coloring book which um i don't watch the show but i'm pretty sure that's to do with a tv show that's on tv um, friends coloring book you might want to be careful with those tv shows movies and stuff like that you don't want to get in trouble for copywriting coloring books for teens and young adults so say for example we clicked on a coloring book for kids aged three to five that's way less results now so now we, instead of over seventy thousand results we've got over nine thousand Still quite a lot, that's still a little bit too competitive, but you might be getting the idea. So let's go back and look for the one that had girls. Coloring book for kids aged two to four girls. So that's even less, we're now at 5,000 results. So you just gotta go down that rabbit hole of where are these niches that have lower competition but it's still got a lot of demand it's got you know it's got demand because people are searching for it
colouring books for preschoolers even less we're now down to 4,000 results so we're getting there you could even take a look through the titles of some of the books to give you an idea because the titles generally should have some keywords in them as well coloring books for teens and young adults a thousand results so this is where I like to be so obviously under a thousand would be more preferable but we've got it down to just over a thousand so it's got under 2,000 results and this is what you can work with so you can go through and have a look and see what other people have not so bad with the results uh, sorry with the reviews there that one's got quite a lot of reviews but this will give you something to work with and to help you find those sub niches that might be a little bit better to try and rank in another way that you can do searches is say for example journal and then just use the letter of the alphabet so we've got journal anime journal anime cover so that search result here is telling you exactly that people are looking for a journal with an anime cover this one journal a5 line so that one's telling you that people want an a5 journal or a 6x9 journal not a 8.5 by 11 inch journal journal a lot of pages someone wants a journal with a lot of pages journal a day book a workout journal a daily fitness log so these are all ideas that you should be noting down and then doing more intensive research into each one there's one asking for an a6 journal journal and cal calendar planner for women journal and notebooks so then you can go on to b what's coming up for journal b bible journal journal books for women journal bible for teens journal blank so some people just want a completely blank journal some people want a journal with a butterfly cover so there are things that you could note down journal c journal composition notebook journal calendar journal co journal college rules journal college ruled i'll get my words out in a minute journal canvas cover now that is something a little bit more specialized you can create books with canvas covers not through KDP um, but there are companies that do print on demand books with hardcover canvas covers spiral bound things like that so if that's something you're interested in you could do more research into that that could be a possible niche if you wanted to um, do something a little bit more higher end than just paperback books and so you get the idea you would sit and you would go through the whole alphabet and see what comes up and see if you've got any niche ideas once you have found yourself a sub niche that you really want to look into further this is where you start looking at the bsrs now this is a another chrome plugin which i can't think of the name of at the top of my head i'm pretty sure it's a helium 10 chrome plugin i will pop a link to it in the description um, so that if you want to download it you can now this is not information that you don't have access to but normally you would have to click into each listing to get the bsrs and to see what categories that they are selling in so this is just it, this just really cuts down the time on your research because you can see right there and then you don't have to go into every single listing to find the BSR or to find what categories they're in so that one is a sponsored listing if we look at this one it's got a BSR of under 23,000 that is great um, as I was saying earlier you're trying to look for books that have a lower BSR or at least have something under 250 or 300,000 that's not a hard and fast rule like I say so if a book has a BSR of 320,000 and you think it could be a go up give it a go don't just say oh well it's a little bit over I'm not going to go for it you just have to try things that one has an amazing BSR but it also has some reviews that might be hard competing with this one here has a BSR of 5589 again quite a few reviews but there are some books as well that have less reviews with great BSRs. So this is definitely a niche that you would want to try and create some books, at least one book, and see what happens. I would definitely try this niche. What I would also do is just pop in to a few of them and see exactly what kind of images are in them so that you can create something similar. So we can have a look inside and see what sort of images they've got it looks like this might actually have black background so that's different that is really different now it's only showing one page but that's a really different kind of coloring book that's kind of cool i like that that's something that you could even translate into an adult coloring book or something like that because let's face it the majority of coloring books are white with black lines and that one's just completely different
Okay, here's another one we can have a look at, teen coloring book for girls. Let's see what kind of images they have in their book. That's just a preview of each of the images that's available. So you can see if you've looked into the app, into the coloring book niche before, you can see that these images, these coloring pages, they do just have a style of being younger, of being teenagey. These are not the type of images that you would find in an adult coloring book. So you would just do something similar, a similar style, because this is obviously what teenage girls are looking for in coloring books. Okay, so let's take a look at something else. Let's pop in logbook and we'll see what comes up here under the Amazon suggestion expander tool. So as you can see, we've got sailing logbook, work hours logbook, hotel logbook, private pilot logbook, diving, logbook for cruising under power, I have no idea what that is, but over here, logbook for men, for truckers, for diabetes, for security, for daily activities, for truckers. These are all sub niches that people are searching for, that's why they're coming up here. We can click on one and we can see, is this a better niche? Yes, as we can see, first of all, it's got a lot less than a thousand results, so that's really great. Let's have a look at the actual books that are under this sub niche. So we've got a shift log and mileage book for truckers here, but it's got a pretty high BSR. That may mean that there isn't that much demand of this, of this niche. Here's another one. Again, it's got quite a high BSR. This one, not so bad, but it's still quite a high BSR. 6.8 million, that's really high. 2.9 million. So this is telling me that there probably isn't quite enough demand for a log book for truckers. And so you can just write that one off. But then you might see that things that come up. So let's have a look here, drivers daily. Let's look for driver's daily logbook. It's got 131 results. Now these ones that show up in office products, they're ones that aren't printed by KDP. The ones under books are the ones that are printed by KDP. And so it doesn't look like there's actually any KDP books in this sub niche. So again, I would say that's not a great niche. Let's go back to logbook. Let's have a look at for diabetics and see what comes up under diabetics. So this one's got under a thousand results, 934. Let's take a look at what books we have on the first page and are they something in demand and something that we can compete for. This one is a sponsored listing, but it does have a pretty good BSR. It's under hundred thousand. It's got reviews, but not a massive amount to compete with. This logbook, 20,525 in books. And again, a few reviews, but not too bad. This one, 17,600. So straight away, I would say that yes, this is a niche that you definitely would want to look into and seeing if you can get ranked and compete with these books that are on the first page. I think that's a great sub niche to have a look into. So that's about it for performing niche research on Amazon. I hope this has given you an idea about how to get started with niche research and how to narrow down to niches that will get a good BSR for you and actually make sales. Niche research is the most important part of your KDP business. It doesn't matter how many books you make and upload, you aren't going to make any sales if you're not in the right niche. It really is the part of your business that you should spend the most time on. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.